Tea's time with Trav. Sean Ellis served 21 years and seven months in prison for a crime that he did not commit because those crooked cops, they took down this black man because they knew they could, but he is now exonerated. What's going on y'all, it's Ayo Trap and I'm back, 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 back again. Y'all, today I have spicy ramen prawn ordeal. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. Um, and we got the Ayo sauce on the side. Ayo sauce will be back on sale. Actually, wait. The Ayo sauce is on sale right now. <laughs> um, other than that, let me go and say grace. Father God, I come today to ask you all to this food. Please that be your nourishment to my body. Please never digest this food properly. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. One more time. Amen. Y'all, Jamie, the one I'll be doing the videos with, got me these little chopsticks. Hopefully they work better than what I've um, been using before because y'all know I'm not good at this. And before y'all say anything, these are not the, the spicy, um, these are not the two times spicy ones. They're just regular hot chicken. But it's not supposed to be spicy, so we're gonna see. I feel like I haven't done problems in a minute. Excuse my MacBook. I thought I turned the volume down, y'all. I'm sorry. But how was y'all day going today? My day is going pretty well. Y'all saw that? I do. Y'all in my neighbor's pipes. It sound really loud. I wonder what's going on. Mm. About to get into these noodles, y'all. Hopefully, one, hopefully, they're not spicy like that. Two, hopefully these chopsticks work. If not, I got a fork on the side here. I already know. Hmm. These are not bad. They have a little kick, but it's not bad. Let me slide this over a little bit. I can handle these. I'm not going to be hollering. They're good too. They are good. Y'all see how season that is? I did a little light season. Y'all, RT time today. Oh my God. It's gonna make you it's gonna make you go get Netflix if you don't already have it. If you got it, it's gonna definitely make you go look at what I'm gonna talk about. Mm. 
gonna give me a couple more bites. And we're gonna end because when I was watching this, y'all, I, I just couldn't wait to hop on this camera and talk about it. I wanna talk about it after the first episode, but I was like, no, let me. Hmm. I'm like, no, I need to watch some more because I, I need to, you know, know what I'm talking about. I gotta let them know what's going on. Y'all already know it's time for Tea's Time with Trav. Yo, the Netflix docuseries Trial 4 talks about the case of Sean Ellis. If you don't know who Sean Ellis is, I'm about to tell you. Oh my God. Because that, that, mm. Sean Ellis was 19 years old when he was sentenced to life in prison without no parole for a murder of a detective that he did not do. But they painted him as the killer because he was a black guy. And it was crooked cops who did this. I'm going to give you all the whole rundown. So the officer was killed in his car. I thought I had a hair falling down my neck. The officer was killed in his car while he was sleeping. Shot in his face five times. Five times. Not five. Five. And they had no idea who did it. So I think it was five days later, something like that. A couple days later. Um, two girls were murdered at their home. Now, Sean Ellis lived there. It was his cousins. So when he goes there, for some reason, they try to say that he killed his cousins. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is in Boston, 1993. They tried to accuse him of killing his cousins. And he's like, I didn't do that. So they asked him, what's his, what was his alibi? Um, and he tells them that he had went to Walgreens Cetera, I don't remember the full story and what he told them, but because he said that he was at Walgreens the night that the officer got murdered, they 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 placed the gun in his hand, y'all. It was really bad. They eventually. Um, found the real killer for his cousins. Which was his cousin's boyfriend. So now, because they cannot figure out who it was, these crooked cops had to place the blame on somebody because their officer is now gone. So... They're, they're getting testimonies from him. He's telling them the same story over and over and over. And they have nothing to hold him for, y'all. So, ultimately, on the day of his cousin's funeral, during the funeral, the officers come and arrest him. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they tell him that he's being charged for murder of the cop. Let me get one of these prawns. And they, they say that they have a witness who can give a testimony. Now, the girl, and this is why I say they are crooked. They gave her an array of photos and she they told her pick out which guy that she saw there. The first time she did not pick him out. The second time she did not pick him out. They took her downstairs in the car by herself, talked to her for a couple minutes. They came back. Now the third time she coincidentally picked him out. 
I said no. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. That was real ironic, right? And now to make matters worse, the detective that, that was interviewing her, that was her uncle-in-law. They were related. So the DA thought that it was suspicious and she had them record a testimony under oath that they were being honest about this case. And they did it and they, they just believed it. So the, the case went to trial. Now, Sean Ellis, his uncle had just got out of prison. He was still on parole. His uncle did, he, his uncle was in the documentary and his uncle told them that they made me tell these stories or they told me I would go back to prison. They would do whatever with my parole and use their power to send me back to prison. Sean's girlfriend testified against him and told a whole story that the police made up. They told her, if you do not say this, we are going to take your child away. We are going to do this. We're going to do that. And I believe it was someone, a girl who had a warrant out for her arrest, but it, it was like a bench warrant. It was something very small. Excuse me. They told her, if you do not testify and tell this story that we're telling you, you're going to jail. So, of course, she testified against him because at that point, it's her life or his. So, you know, her freedom or his freedom. So they targeted all these people <clears throat> that they knew they could get away with doing this kind of stuff, too, because it was people who they were threatening them. Like they were threatening to take something away from them. Like their freedom, their child, etc. Like those cops were messed up. So the case goes to trial. It's in the hands of the jurors. The police that made up all these fake stories, they told his girlfriend, y'all, they told her that if she didn't testify, they were going to say they found her fingerprints on the gun. But then they never said that they found Sean's fingerprints on the gun. Do you see how their story is switching up? So the jurors, they deliberated, I believe they said for eight days, right? Because it was coming to a unanimous decision or it's a mistrial. They did it. So after eight days, they classified it as a mistrial. It goes back on trial again. The second time, the jurors do the same thing, y'all. A mistrial. Now, the third trial come up. They don't bring certain witnesses. They don't bring certain evidence that they brought before in the first two trials because they knew this. We need to do this or we need to say this. To make him seem guilty. And that's what happened. That the first trial was eight days. The second trial was five days. The third trial, y'all, they said was three hours and they found him guilty. Come on now. Come on. Mm-mm. So, Sean is just in prison, you know, and there, there's literally nothing he can do about it because it's his words versus these cops, but he didn't give up. He ended up finding a lawyer, y'all. Mm.
And she investigated the hell out of that case. And she found that those cops were crooked, y'all. They were crooked. Those cops would take drugs and plant it on people just so they can get arrested and go to jail. Those cops actually robbed drug dealers and took their money and told them if they snitched on them, they would go to jail because they are officers and they have proof that these people had drugs on them. So the drug dealers couldn't do anything but give up their money. And y'all, it had it had went bad. Like she noticed that um, the chief of police wasn't reporting certain stuff and things like that. And then during this investigation, it comes out that another officer, his son, had ended up coming clean and reporting to the police department that he believes that his dad, who was an officer, may have killed the other officer or gotten him killed because the officer that did get killed. He was sleeping with another officer's 14 year old daughter. And he said, they're going to find him shot in the eye outside of Walgreens. And that's exactly what happened. Needless to say, Sean Ellis served 21 years and seven months in prison for a crime that he did not commit because those crooked cops would not place the blame on each other. They would not snitch on each other, but instead they took down this black man because they knew they could. But luckily he is now exonerated. I had to look straight into the camera when I said that because I was like, amen, amen, and amen. Because that's horrible. It's so bad that I've said it before, the people that are supposed to serve and protect, they don't. What's that? These things be having some weird looking stuff in there. Oh, this season. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, I don't eat that. But these people that are supposed to serve and protect the community were terrorizing the community. And there was no telling how many times this happened on a daily on a monthly basis, a weekly basis, a yearly basis, there is no telling. And these people get up there, they hold their hand on the Bible when they're about to give these testimonies, but do we have to think about that a lot of people don't believe in Christianity, they don't believe in God at all. So these people, them putting their hand on the Bible don't mean they're going to tell the truth. And that's clear as day. There are officers, not all, but there are officers who like to abuse. I put emphasis on A. They like to abuse <laughs> their power. Like, <clears throat> excuse me. And it's like, for what? What satisfaction do you get out of placing the, like, are you that morally jacked up that you would rather solve your case incorrectly than to actually hold the correct person accountable? If I was a detective, I was a cop, whatever the case may be, I, I would rather, I would sleep better at night. Knowing I'm doing whatever I can, even if it's 25 years down the line and I still have not found the person that's responsible for this crime, I would rather live with that than to live with the fact of knowing that I put somebody behind bars who does not deserve to be there. That man was 19 when he went to prison. 19. He got out at age 42, I believe. He spent over half his life in prison for something he did not do. And majority of the people that were involved um, 
refuse to comment or they refuse to be a part of the Netflix docuseries. Of course, because you know that your ass is going down. But it's going to happen. Whether you show your face on Netflix or not, because Netflix have told this story, you gonna, you your time is coming. Karma is nasty. She's nasty. I am. I don't understand how people like that sleep at night. Knowing that this child, that's what he was, a child. He was 19. <coughs> you ruined that man's whole life. Like, even though he got out, he's scarred for life, y'all. He said when he um got out and he wanted to take a shower, he asked him, how long can I take a shower? Or what, what's the, the time frame? Be, and he said, because in prison, that was looked at as a vulnerable moment for people, for guys. Like, because y'all 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 heard stories about what they do in there. He was saying people get in there, they watch their body, boom, they out. He was saying that the, the shower is like two, three minutes. Because they don't want to, they don't want to be involved in that. So when he was home, he was asking him, how long can I shower? And they told him, however long you want, be comfortable. And he said he was just mind blown. Because for almost 22 years, he was taking two minute showers. Two. Two minutes. Oh. But it really just shows you not, it shows you a couple things. One, how messed up this justice system is. Two, how messed up people are in this world. And three, this system was not made for black people. It wasn't. It was not. Mm. That was good. So yeah, y'all. Yeah, I gotta make sure y'all check that out. I don't even know where we at with the time. Nobody can talk y'all today. I talk for a little bit. Excuse me. <clears throat> I might go inside now. I hope I can get it on my face. Yeah, I'm not beginning all into these stories. I don't need to be paying attention. Okay, cool. So, y'all, if you have not, please check out Trial 4 on Netflix. Or if you don't even watch the whole docuseries, just Google Sean Ellis' case. Crazy. Um. Yeah. Now who interrupted me? Who interrupted me? Who can I run to? Who? Sorry. Anyway. Um, what was that about to say? Oh. Hey yo, so I was gonna say that now. Boom. 
Check out www.aotraff.com to purchase the sauce. But if you're not subscribed to the channel, the red red boom, hit the red boom, so you can notified each time I drop a video. But if you want to connect, stay. I can't tell. If you want to stay connected with me outside of all that, go to the description box, go down the bottom. Boom. You're going to see me on social media Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, all that. Right. And follow me, leave me a comment on Instagram, leave me a comment on Instagram, leave me a comment on Instagram, do whatever. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see, what you don't want to see, what you want me to say, what you don't want me to say, what you want me to eat, what you don't want me to eat. I'll just have those. Um. Other than that, it's been real. Ayo Travis out. Peace.